Hello, it is I, the person with the German Shepherd. Not just any dog, it's Dauphin the dog. He's currently licking his foot somewhere he's not supposed to lick because he has a skin thing going on so he's not supposed to lick it. He's getting treatment for that. Um, but I'm not going to talk about my dog's gross skin disease. I'm going to talk about something else because I haven't seen you lot in a while. It's been three weeks and usually the years I've been on YouTube I've tried to keep up kind of a, not a schedule necessarily, but kind of like at least try to upload once a week. At least every two weeks. Uh, and now it's been three weeks. And I just kind of wanted to address that because recently uh, my uploads haven't been as frequent which some of you might have noticed or maybe you just don't watch that much youtube anymore so you haven't noticed which is fine yeah i just thought i'd address that so um i started youtube when i was 13 um and then it kind of blew up my channel when i made that 100 ways to come out video um, and then I got a lot of subscribers from that, but it was never my intention to become a YouTuber. So I've never called myself a YouTuber or identified as a YouTuber because I've always seen YouTube as just something, you know, I put on a camera and talk. And then sometimes I've done videos where I edit more and stuff, but that's more to do with me just like expressing myself or whatever. It's not really like... I'm gonna be a YouTuber. That's never that's never been my thing. Just some people started watching me, and that's kind of how it how it went. And then over time, I started to feel a lot of pressure to uh, act like a YouTuber, and you know, but that's not what makes me happy. Uh, so that's kind of why I wanted to talk about my future on YouTube. First off, I want to say that I'm not planning on like leaving YouTube forever or anything like that. Uh, I'll try to upload when I can, but I've just recently I've had to focus on my mental health a lot more. Um, right, um, through the years I've been on YouTube, I have struggled a fair amount with mental health and I've definitely had times where it's been a lot worse than it is now. I'm just putting a pillow over his leg so that he can't reach it. <laughs> He's so stupid. He's such a stupid dog. But, I've kind of, I'm now taking a more like adult and grown up and mature approach to my mental health because uh, I used to just want to die, but now <laughs> I'm taking medication for it. And I've also made changes in my life and I've um, tried to build up a security network around me of friends because I used to only have friends who lived other places in the world that I met on the internet, which are marvellous people, but, you know, when you're feeling bad um, at 11pm, you can't just, like, go to the house or, like, ask if you can stay the night at theirs. Um... Also, time zones and stuff are a thing. So, I've I've just been feeling very lonely, and I haven't really I haven't understood the importance of having friends here, like where you live. And I've always been pretty bad at making friends, but in the last few months, I have worked with my therapist to really um, take little steps uh, to make some friends and. The people I have found are very, very nice people. Yeah, so so just just that. I'm trying to kind of exist more in my physical world um, and not just online and on the internet. YouTube does make me happy at times, most definitely. But when I don't feel motivated, uh, which is a lot of the time I struggle with low motivation, not just for YouTube, but just for anything, um, even think that the things that I really like doing, I just don't have the motivation for it, so I kind of just end up lying in my bed, being like, uh <laughs> When I don't feel motivated to do YouTube, I'm not gonna make a video, um, because I just don't want to pressure myself, but I do really enjoy putting out things, um, 
putting things into the world that some people might find helpful or interesting or entertaining. But I would really appreciate if you could then tell me in the comments if there's any particular videos that you would like. For example, um, my experience with Lexapro, which is the medication I'm on, or how I managed to pass out when getting my piercings done, or <laughs> all the... Uh, if you don't know, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know, but I have a collection of bones and little skulls and stuff, so if you want to hear about them, or if you want to hear about the story of when I kind of predicted my grandma's and my great-grandma's deaths, that's a fairly interesting story, you know, getting spooky for Halloween. Just, if there's any anything you want to see from me, then I would really appreciate hearing uh, from you. Um, but yeah, overall, this is a boring video. Um, I know wearing this hat, I look like I'm 15. I'm 18, okay? We're all good. Not that it, there would be anything wrong with being 15, but given I, or given I have so much alcohol on my shelf up there, it would be weird. But then again, you couldn't actually see the alcohol, so I don't really know why I worried about that. I was worried about that. Anyway. <laughs> Just wanted to say hi, it's been three weeks. Just thought I'd give you an update. Um, oh man, I'm just gonna put this in there. I was really stressed last week, like really stressed about school. And I was just a mess and I wasn't feeling very great. And I also started a higher dosage of the medication that I'm on and my body was just, you know, things were flowing out of my body, you know. Um, it's really gross, but you know, it, it sometimes happens and I was like shaking and stuff like that. Um, he passed in a few days, but I had a kind of rough week and then on Friday I had a self-care day, which I'm genuinely really proud of because I never do like self-care or anything like that. But on Friday I was home alone and I was home alone the whole weekend. And I had sushi and wine in the bath, you know, like filled it with bubbles, lit some candles, just to like take proper care of myself and listen to the Smiths and just like calm down. And then later that evening, I went to my uh, one of my best friend's house and um, at one point I was going to go inside to get some water and he was like, oh, say hi to mom while you're in there. And I was like, okay, so I went into the living room and his mum was sitting there eating crackers and cheese and drinking wine. And his mother is the most lovely woman in the world, except for my own mother, of course. But she's just so sweet. And she was like, hi, Kobe, because I went in there and I was like, hi, how are you? And she was like, hi, Kobe, um, do you want some wine? And I was like, well, I've already had some wine at home. But she was like, no, nah, come on, sit down. So the whole evening, uh, his mom was reading me her favorite poetry, showing me her favorite music. We drank so much wine. And my friend, her son, came in at one point and just laughed at us. And because he asked me if I wanted to come join them outside. And I was like, you know what? I'm good. So I don't even know when I went to bed. I was just chatting with his mom the whole evening and drinking wine. But at one point, I just had to be like, I need to go to bed. <laughs> but it was really lovely talking to you. Um, so yeah, that made me really happy. And then on Saturday, uh, a friend, my best friend, Celine, and I went to an Indian restaurant. And they're like the sweetest woman in the world works there. She's just so precious. And she recognized me from my birthday. And she's just absolutely lovely. And then I slept over at my other friend's house again, Saturday, Sunday. So I, ha I had a really good weekend. Um, so I'm feeling a bit better. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm doing terrible mentally i'm not i'm 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 not that bad like at all uh i'm much better than i was a few months ago which is good but i'm gonna end this video here and um yeah if you if you watched it all the way through thank you and i hope you leave some video ideas down below if you want to see anything from me if not then that's okay too um so yeah, I hope you have a brilliant week. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe and eat drink and do not hurt yourselves. And remember that you are so much more than you've ever known. Like, seriously, 
Um, and yeah, I hope you're kind to yourself. And with that, Dolphin is going to say goodbye. So goodbye. That's my teddy bear up there, that's embarrassing. I've had it since I was five, I can't just get rid of it. But yeah, okay. <laughs> goodbye.